Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zonta of Repro Products. This screencast will look at Revit and the export capability of information out. Uh, if you like this video and like to see more, please search for Zonta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I have a model open in the 3D view and we're going to take a look at how to export data out of this model in various file formats. To export any information that's within Revit out, you can use the application menu, the big blue R. Click it, you'll get the uh, context menu that opens up. One of the features is export. In this window, there are a lot of file forms that you can export out to. So for example, here under CAD formats, you can export to DWG, DXF, DGN, and SAT. Uh, DWG everybody knows, DXF everybody for the most part knows as well, DGN is MicroStation, and SAT files are for, you know, maybe exporting to um, 3ds Max for example. Uh, you can export to DWF in DWFX file format, which is uh, Autodesk's equivalent of a PDF file. You can export to Building Site ADSK Exchange file format, which is Autodesk's uh, file format to take the data from uh, one Autodesk application into another. So for example, from Inventor to Revit or vice versa. FBX is another file format that you can export the data out to, which uh, retains material and texture mapping. This is good for Autodesk 3DS, uh, Autodesk 3DS Max software, for example, or even to bring into, say, Autodesk InfraWorks. And um, uh, this one is a little time consuming and the files are somewhat large, but that's another file format you can export to. Uh, NWC is a file format that you can export to to take the file and bring it directly into Autodesk Navisworks, which is your 3D um, aggregation modeling software. It allows you to take a look at uh, all the different types of 3D content that you have for your project in a single environment. Uh, it doesn't allow you really to create content, but you can manipulate what you already have and get a better assessment of the project and the models as a whole in a single unified location. You have a um, GBXML file format, which is used quite often for the energy analysis purposes. So when you export out to GBXML, you can take that into uh, energy analysis applications such as uh, Autodesk Green Building Studio um, and uh, Autodesk Insight 360 is another one as well. You have IFC. Uh, IFC stands for Industry Foundation Class. It's one of these uh, universal file formats that you're supposed to be able to take the data and turn it into this file and then bring it into another application. Um, I'm not sure how many people are using IFC much because the times that I've worked with it, uh, the data seems to be either corrupt or incomplete or just too simplified to use. There is a little black arrow here that you can put your mouse over and it will expand that window and give you additional export file format features. Um, ODBC database allows you to export it out and connect the data to another database software, for example, uh, Microsoft Access um, and SQL. And then obviously, if you have any um, images that you've created from a rendering or any animations that you've created within the software, you can actually export the animation walkthrough, you can export the solar study, and you can export the images as well. You also have the ability to export to reports, and reports are really broken down into schedules and room area reports. Now you'll also notice when you use these some of these commands, they're grayed out. The ones that are grayed out basically means that the current view that you're in is not the, the correct view. So for example, if I want it to be a solar study and have this command um, not gray and bold and I can actually use it, then this, then this current view needs to be the 3D solar study view. Likewise, under reports, you'll see schedule is grayed out. And what that means is that my current view is not a schedule view. So if it is, then this schedule command here will not be grayed out. And then lastly, you have the options of how Revit treats and works with the data to export out to different file formats such as DWG, DXF, Export Setup, DGN, <coughs> and IFC options. And so that's it. That's a quick tutorial on the different ways and the different types of file formats that you can export your Revit model out of Revit and into a different file format for use on other applications. Thanks for watching.